My name's Woogie. I make tattoos and monster masks. I've been tattooing for around seven years or so and I'm making masks for like a year. I wanted some masks that I couldn't afford basically and I was like, man, I've, I could probably make them myself. So I did. I took a sculpting class in college and it was, you know, pretty lame. So I didn't do it for a long time. And then, I don't know, I just, I wanted to make a rat fink mask for myself. And when I did it, it came out really dope and people wanted to buy them. So I figured, hey, maybe I should keep going, keep doing more. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of hard work. And I learned everything off YouTube. The first one came out pretty good. I almost got the mold stuck together and I freaked out for a minute and I was banging the hell out of it with a hammer and uh, trying to open it, pry it apart. And I broke part of it actually, but I was able to fix it and get that rat fink out of it. I just finished this Phantom of the Opera uh, and I'm working on a kind of like a Crypt Keeper. That's my next one. I want to do more original pieces too and more of my own characters like the Frankenstein because the Frankenstein's kind of my own thing. Even though it is a Frankenstein, it's my own design, you know. And even this Crimson Ghost, there's a Crimson Ghost mask I have hanging over there on the thing. And it's a dope mask, but I was like, man, it would be so cool to have his eyes open wide. Like, there's just one shot of the Crimson Ghost that I took as a reference, and I wanted it to look, when you look at him, have him staring at you and, like, be creepy as hell, you know. Mask rot over time. So these things are, like... They're not gonna be around for a long time, you know what I mean? Which is cool and bad at the same time. They're, they're gonna die, you know what I mean? It's awesome, man. I love it. It's really cool. It's a tight community, real small. Um, a lot of good people, talented people, and I'm, I'm stoked to kind of be weaseling my way into it, you know? Yeah, I've drawn since I was seven. My grandma forced me to draw everything in the house. She's like, draw that, draw that. So I was drawing since I was a kid. And then I went to art school as well. Went to art institute and got in debt. <laughs> That's what is cool about this is people actually want to buy them. You know what I mean? I've done paintings and all that. I've done a lot of different kind of styles of art. But this is the first thing where I was like, people are like, dude, can I get one of those? And people are hitting me up when I don't even have any. And I'm like, freaking out like oh man I gotta make a bunch more of these you know that's what I'm trying to do is just stuff that I think is cool because if you, if you do that I feel like a lot of people will have the same style like like the same things that you do you know so just do what you like do what you love and other people will respond to it you know when a door opens you gotta step through it mm -hmm.